It's very frightening. Um, the longer she's been there, the more reality has started to kick in. In our opinion, she did not commit a crime. Don't punish women for doing the same thing a man can do in Dubai. It's not fair and it's not right. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Will government officials step in and give her assistance? I'm still awaiting responses. Tierra Allen, better known as the sassy trucker, is held abroad in the UAE of Dubai. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Now hold on. turned terrifying for Tierra Young Allen when her mom says she was a passenger in a friend's rental car and they got into an accident there in Dubai. Tina Baxter says when her daughter went to the company to retrieve her ID, credit card and other items left in the rental, Baxter says it did not go well. She found out that she could only receive those items if she paid an undisclosed amount of money. As her 29-year-old daughter ultimately yelled back at the rental car agent, she says resulting in her being charged for screaming there in Dubai. And so she is in jail for one reason and one reason alone. She raised her voice. In that country, a female is not even allowed to raise her voice. If she raises her voice, it's punishable by jail time. They have a strict law system that is really based on theocracy. This website warns, quote, laws and customs are very different, so be aware of your actions to ensure they don't offend while in United Arab Emirates. Now, after Baxter says her daughter was charged with screaming in Dubai, her passport has been taken, and the American social media influencer who works as a truck driver can't leave the UAE, according to her mom. And her mom says she's been placed under a travel ban pending the outcome of the investigation. In our opinion, she did not commit a crime. Don't punish women for doing the same thing a man can do in Dubai. It's not fair and it's not right. Now, the 29-year-old does now have an attorney there in Dubai, and her mom says she's told that she could face jail time because there is surveillance video of her screaming. Now, we have reached out to the U.S. and the UAE embassies. Will government officials step in and give her assistance? I'm still awaiting responses. So, drivers, this is a popular female social media truck driver. As you guys know, she goes by the name of Sassy Trucker on all her social media platforms very popular young lady uh, she been uh featured in a lot of of uh, female trucker talk uh news but unfortunately this news has come as a bad uh situation that has happened to her in dubai now me i have had the pleasure of having sassy trucker on the platform a few times and the last time i had her on the platform we did talk about her trip uh while she's in dubai i believe she was still there because this situation right here uh happened back in april april may and i know i talked to her maybe a couple of months prior to that because of course i seen the video of her you know driving trucks in dubai and you know she was very happy of being the first female driver to you know drive trucks in dubai and she was you know telling me of all the adventures and everything that was going down uh with her um unfortunately the sad story that's coming out of dubai uh that's involving sassy is the fact that she was in a car accident uh in a rental car accident with uh with one of her friends 
now i'm gonna put an asterisk on the friend part because from the story is uh sassy is hemmed up we don't have nothing on the friend uh we don't have nothing on the friend as far as the friend coming out to say what happened or anything like that or what is the reason why the friend isn't even talking you know i mean that's just a, a question a thought but uh the story goes uh she was in a car accident and uh for some odd reason her items her personal items was left in the car when it was picked up and towed away uh maybe she left it in the car for whatever reasons uh we won't know because we won't hear from sassy what was the reason why um hopefully until she comes out and maybe we can get the whole story but right now you know we only getting bits and pieces from different avenues um of course as you guys can see on the screen you know the you know the the young lady uh her mother is you know explaining from i guess the conversation that she had with her daughter and uh we getting that one side of the story as far as what's going on in dubai you know we're, we're not hearing nothing we're not hearing nothing from the rental car we're not uh uh hearing nothing from the friend so there's there's more to this story drivers there there is there's more to this story um but right now we're concentrating on hopefully getting sassy back to the states um of course dubai is one of sassy's favorite places to go kind of assuming now that it won't be in the future <laughs> you know but uh she was in an accident her stuff was in in the car the car must have been told back to the rental car place the next day she went back to retrieve her items now according to her mother she was uh being distorted according to the article is that the manager was mean to her she felt scared he followed her outside of the office she felt intimidated she told him to stop but he insisted uh he called the police and opened up a case against her apparently for screaming at him she was in shock that she frightened him she told him to stop and she said now that the police said that she can't go home she told them that she had a medical emergency and she need to return to the u.s but until the investigation is over with being that it's a case she's being charged i guess she got to go through the court system after everything is said and done then she can go you know of course she probably might be uh deported back to the states probably might be barred and banned from ever coming back to dubai but i don't think that's going to be too much of a problem for sassy <laughs> if you know what i'm saying because i'm i'm feeling after this encounter i don't think you will want to go back uh but uh the seriousness of this case is that she can actually literally go to prison and it all sounds as though is that the confrontation between her and 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 the and the person at the rental car place must have been heated i can imagine you know you're going back to get your stuff the dude refused and you know one thing led to another and the shouting match persists and i guess you know you're in a foreign country you know some things that you can probably get away with over here in the west 
you might not be able to get away with over there in 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 the in dubai just like the the young man said you know she's in trouble for what a man can i mean for what a man can do but you got to understand you is in dubai like you know men over there is seen different you know they you know women over there you know don't have as equal rights as they would have here in the states you know but some of these you know some of these you know influencers and stuff and, and people like that that don't know the laws might end up getting in a situation so sometimes you might just want to you know before you decide to go to foreign places that you you know that you heard of or stuff like that you might want to read the bylaws you know sassy trucker of course the popular tiktoker um youtuber uh instagrammer definitely got a following on uh on instagram you know showing all of her uh showing all of her you know exploits and everything um they said that you know they they said that uh, that places over in dubai does that kind of stuff you know false allegations against visitors has been profitable business over in dubai for authorities companies and individuals who use the justice system to extort those who don't know how to navigate the complex system over there the issue is so prevalent that more needs to be done to warn potential tourists and investors of the real risk that they can find in Dubai. Allegations. Profitable. A business. See, you young travelers don't know that. They can extort you for some odd reason. Again, they got this young lady stuff. They got her credit cards, her phone, her debit cards, and they refuse to give it to her because they want to get paid. And if they don't get paid, then they could turn around and use your emotions against you by getting you arrested. Uh, detained in Dubai is doing the case over there right detained in dubai is doing the case over there come to find out that you know dubai is the r word over there and a lot of people you know a lot of a lot of young travelers didn't know that especially travelers of color you know but i also heard through the grapevine listen listen pay attention now i heard through the grapevine that something else that be going on in dubai it's called uh, the potty, porta, porta potty thing. I don't know what that is, but they say that's the reason why a lot of uh, female influencers go over there because they get paid an exorbitant amount of money to do despicable stuff on the men over in Dubai. The uh, Dubai porta potty. What is a Dubai porta potty? Lie down. You lie down like this, and then you open your mouth, and then they will do their ass like this and sh in your mouth. They are dogs in your mouth, and then you have to eat. You have to eat the poop. -poo. Swallowing someone's shit for five thousand dollars. This airport host type video saying that she made a cool fifty k just by doing nasty stuff on the man hopped back on the plane and came back home and that was it it's crazy i never heard of stuff like that i mean i heard of crazy stuff that was going on but i never heard of stuff like that so listen to this conversation that this young lady had in the car while she was 
abroad. Now, everybody be wanting to travel abroad and go to do all of these little cool things in foreign countries, but you guys have to be ready to defend yourself if y'all have to, and y'all have to be alert so you can peep stuff that you may not know be going on. So just pay attention to this video. You speak English? You speak English? <laughs> no, you missed. Your, your friends speak English? Yeah. Your friends speak English? You better hold the speaker. Look, I don't know what y'all got going on, but you better take me to the airport. Airport, yeah. I'm not fucking playing with you. I will kill your ass back in this taxi cab. Like, I don't know what the whole earplug thing is, but I will fuck okay, you up. Okay. Take me to the airport. Okay. Okay. Airport. Airport. Okay. I'm, I got my map up. Okay. I saw you missed the first turn. He said you were taking the highway. Ah, airport. Motorway. I'm, okay. Motorway, I'm, not, motorway. I'm not fucking playing ah, with you. Motorway. So you guys better watch it. Better watch it. I mean, I commend this young lady right here, man. She ain't playing with you, bro. She ain't playing with you. You ain't getting her twisted up in no in in no backwoods whole hop house whole house cracked up, drugged up. Put me in uh in 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 uh human trafficking. Bump that shit. She says, I'm ready for you. I got you. I got you right here, my dude. I'll make sure I put a hollow point in the back of the head just like that lady did over in El Paso. She said, don't play. And you heard them. You heard all of them. You heard both of them. They like airport, airport. Yeah, let's get this lady to the airport. 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 Let's, let's go. And as soon as they dropped her off, they ain't even asked her for the money. They gone. They gone. Look, I, I'm just saying, when you go to foreign places that you're not familiar with, just make sure you 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 have something to defend yourself with. And just be careful. Watch your surroundings, watch your places, know where you at because things like that happened. They was gonna they was gonna skip the airport and skip her all the way to somewhere to, I don't know. But it's also a sad situation on the flip side over in uh, uh, El Paso, Texas, where a Kentucky woman wasn't even familiar with the area. She gets into a Uber car and she felt afraid she thought the dude was gonna take her over to New Mexico or Mexico, Mexico, yeah, Mexico. She said, bump that stuff. 52 year old Danielle said, bump that, bump that. She went in her purse and, and, and got, that, uh, got, that, got that smooth hollow point. And that was all she wrote for old boy. That was it. But unfortunately for her, old boy was, by what the news say, was a good guy. Fearing for her life of being kidnapped and thought she was being taken to Mexico, she reached in her purse and uh, shot old boy in the head. But unfortunately for her situation, uh, that wasn't the case ladies i mean just listen let's listen to uncle lockout man when i tell you you know if you guys want to do some traveling abroad you know you got you you, you gotta you might want to do a little bit more deep dive into where you're going and what what kind of laws it is over there because it's it's crazy man i mean these countries like to buy you know they do got human trafficking over there even though that we don't hear about it but it is it does happen it does happen and back to sassy situation let's get sassy home let's get her home man 
let's get her home you know let's make sure that we got eyeballs on her i mean everybody came together for britney rayner right and y'all see what happened to her she got hemmed up because she had a a a, a, a pen of, of a marijuana just a seed and now we got sassy trucker you know just for getting in a conference conference confrontation with a dude and he's upset because he screamed at her and because he screamed and, and because she screamed at him that's good enough to to throw the young lady in jail see them some dangerous and devious people over there man and including the law who's to say maybe i'll just leave this uh this uh bar open for the night who's to say somebody it has happened it could happen but we don't want it to happen to sassy let's get her home y'all everybody band together to get britney rayner home let's you know and and i i know what you guys are going to say well britney rayner is a famous basketball player who's this person well if they can band together for britney rayner rayner the famous basketball player then they can band together for an ordinary u.s citizen that just went over there to travel to have some fun let's get her home <laughs>